So today, <laughs> um, we have Broken Thorn Bourbon Whiskey. This is the small batch. That is bourbon whiskey, right? That's what yeah. it says. Bourbon whiskey. It says Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey. <laughs> now, it says on the bottle, the Winship Company. But, guess who owns the Winship Company, baby? Mr. Winship? Buffalo Trace. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, Buffalo Trace owns, like, every distillery now. Like, you look on their thing, they have, if, if I can get it on, I'll roll the names through, like the screen. <laughs> but it's not like Jack Daniels. No. It's Buffalo Trace. They own, like, a zillion companies now. Now, <laughs> Buffalo Trace is 45% alcohol by volume. This is 46. Ooh. Totally different. Okay. <laughs> so, um, this, now, Buffalo Trace isn't where this distiller is um but they own the company now this is out of uh bartstown bartstown i think it's bartstown bartstown kentucky it's bart alicia it's bartstown right yeah bartstown bartstown something like that anyways so they're owned by buffalo trace i looked on the internet and the only place i found any kind of information at all on this bottle is at specs with no picture. <laughs> Maybe so, it's like a specs only kind of thing. Well, no, it's an actual distillery, so they have to make. Uh, right, but maybe they only make that brand for specs. I, I see. I don't know. Like maybe in a different liquor store in a different part of the country, it's in a called different something lifetime different. in a different universe. The same bat channel though. <laughs> now. Uh, this is a small batch. It's still blended whiskey. So it, it's blended. They pick the barrels and they say, well, these are what we want to try. Ugh. They went through a lot of trouble to seal that. They did. Yeah, that's... There we go. So double seal for your protection, baby. <laughs> Corona free, <laughs> vegan friendly. <laughs> There's no bacon in this. Not yet. So it's a sour mash, which ninety nine percent of them are. We'll try it. So it's the Winship Company, Buffalo Trace. Really. You're yawning. I've had a, a long day of fighting with Alicia. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now this smells tasty. Does it smell like a strawberry? <laughs> Anyways, it's a nice amber color. Ow. Quit fighting back there. It's a nice amber color. See, the two drinks ain't for, like, me and somebody else. I need both of them. <laughs> uh, it's got a nice, rich, caramel smell to it. Um, you get the oaky barrel charred smell. Yes, I know what oak smells like, baby. You know what wood tastes like, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> Anyways... She's laugh crying at the same time. <laughs> it's, it, it smells really good. Um, it's it's a lot different smell than the Buffalo Trace. So this has got its own little deal going on. Ooh, it kicks you in the front. Really peppery up front. You get hit with the vanilla, the caramel. Almost a little nutty flavor. You like that one too, don't you, baby? <laughs> one more sex joke, and I'm going to make one on you. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a little peppery, but it's like a bunch of spices all at once. It's, it's really good. It, it really has good, rich flavor. It's, it, this is a damn good whiskey. 
Do you think it's better than the Buffalo Trace? Ooh. Wow, this is amazing. Should we do the flagship? Hang on one second. You keep saying we like you got a mouse in your pocket or something. I'm not a whiskey drinker. I got my little friend down there. <laughs> is he knocking on the back door? <laughs> Yeah, the smell on this is a lot more timid. Totally different. That That's a night and day. Uh, Buffalo Trace is damn good. Um, but, I hate to say it, this one's better. This one's got its own, it's like a really spicy bourbon whiskey. Um, it's got a lot of strong vanilla, caramel, uh, a little bit of like a nutty flavor, some cherry, and I don't know, this, I, it doesn't say how long it's been aged, because that's what I usually look for, but, and it's a small batch, which really doesn't mean anything anymore. You want to taste some? Alicia? Just a, a little taste. Here, come here. Just taste it. Just, just a little sippy sip. A blast of stuff. You want to try it, baby? No, because I don't like whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> no, this has got a lot of flavor. Uh, this would go really good. Uh, just neat. This is a good sipper. I like this one. Okay. Anyways. Uh, good. It's... I would recommend that. But, it is a little bit more pricey. That com came in at specs at $29.99. So, 30 bucks. So, it's more expensive than the Buffalo yes. Trace? Yes. Buffalo Trace is like $26. Okay. That, that came in about 5 bucks more. And, I'm just going to make a quick drink. It's the day after 4th of July. One of us is really hung over. <laughs> we won't say who. <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> and, and there's a reason why I'm only making two and not three. <laughs> I'm going to try this on the rocks real quick. Just to... Oh, that is good. Okay. They, they have a really good whiskey. Um, I would say it's like three to four years aged. It's got a lot of characteristics from the barrel. Um, it's damn tasty. So, with that in mind, I'm going to conjure up a quick drink for me and my wife. And did you get like a recipe off the internet? No, this is or... straight out of the brain of me. See, that's what worries me. I'm going to be 100% honest. <laughs> what? I'm scared. You could be scared, honey. It's okay. It just means you're alive. <laughs> but for how long? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens at the end of this drink. So this is some peach schnapps. I just wanted a peachy drink tonight. Because I don't think schnapps and whiskey... whiskey Mixes. Okay, they make cherry, they make all kind of flavor whiskeys, honey. We're just livening things up a little bit with, like, some proofed peach. I. You're with James on this one? Yeah. You can put peach schnapps in anything. It's like barely even alcohol. Yeah. It's at like 15 or 18 percent or something like that. You're just kicking up a flavor profile. So what are you going to call this? I'm going to call it in my belly. Because <laughs> that's, ooh. Oh, shit, that's good. I mean, damn, hell, what? Here, take that. Do you want to taste it before me? No. <laughs> ooh, that's good. That's a good little tasty drink there. Um, okay, I'm pleasantly surprised. 
Now she wants to taste it. So it's a shot of a peach schnapps, a shot of whiskey. Okay, that's actually a really good drink. <laughs> and top it off with ginger ale. <laughs> Isn't it? Garnish it with like a little piece of lemon or something, and you could be classy. No, not lemon. Maybe a cherry? No. Yeah, I love cherries. No, an orange. You were right, an orange? There we go. But we ain't got no oranges, so. So you gotta name it. You it's called In it My Belly. In My Belly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, ah, that's that's a uh, really tasty uh, bourbon whiskey. It's it's got bold flavors. It's not on the super expensive side. It's on the about right side. It's thirty bucks. Um, is it worth it? Yeah, hell yeah, it is. Makes a tasty drink. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I think your ratio, you could have put more whiskey in it. Okay, like, it's, it's one shut the one. hell up drink now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's the alcoholic in me. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, uh, like I said, if I could scroll that stuff, all their companies on, on the screen, they have a ton of companies, and this is one of them. But this is one, yes, I could see why they bought it. It's good. Uh, that's what we got for today. Quick show. See? Quick drink. Simple guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I'm, I'm in shock that you came up with the drink all on your own, and it tastes really good. I mean, I'm sure somebody's had that before, but it just sounded like it would be good today. I just... When you said I'm gonna mix peach schnapps with whiskey, I was like, oh, they that's have peach taste whiskey. Like dog vomit. Jim Beam has one. Crown sure. Royal, has, Crown one. Royal one. has one. Everybody has yeah, one. Yeah, but that's peach whiskey. That's not because peach schnapps is like really sweet, isn't it? Okay. Anyways, we're gonna wrap things up. <laughs> Next week, we got a nice tasty rum. We're gonna try the the what picked out. So yeah, it we'll, comes in a little leather bag. This one here. It is, oh, I don't even know what it's called. I don't know, but it came with a pouch. So it I is thought... pretty cool. It's got the little pirate emblem thing on it. And real leather pouch, too. Nothing but the best for your balls, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I have been waiting patiently to say that. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> what is she laughing about? I didn't even hear it. I don't know. <laughs> <She> <laughs> Can we take her back to the home? <laughs> I was going to trade her in. Take her back to Walmart. Oh my God, that'd be such a good idea. <laughs> Take her back to Walmart. Hey, my wife's broken again. <laughs> you want a new one? You think we could get a case of strawberries for her? Probably. That's just rude. And well, they don't return discounted items. <laughs> no, but they do broken ones. We'll say we just bought you. Exactly. You're a malfunction. They let you take anything in for store for <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's what we got for today. Like, share, and subscribe. We will be back next week with some rum. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great weekend. The eggs. <laughs> <laughs>